Praise the Lord. Respects to Bishop Macklin and to uh, Bishop Brown, who will be uh, reflecting some things regarding his uh, desires today, and also to friend here, uh, Bishop Designate Winston, and to all of the officials, please allow me not to individualize your positions, but the respect that I respect you today. <laughs> God bless you, especially to the family today, um, and to, of course, uh, Bishop Milton, who is a good friend of mine. I, I have to preface that, preface everything by saying there's, there's two things. There's, there's bad news and there's good news, because Bishop Milton asked me to share his, his bad news and the good news. The bad news is the family never told me um, a time limit. <laughs> That's the bad news. The, the, the good news is I never spoke for over two hours. So. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be left here alone with me and the casket, so I'll just get to you what I'm here to do. A true mind has already shared resolutions as as well as different departments have reflected because Mother Milton and Sister Stephanie were a part of the True Wine, so they reflected a lot of things. So my our portion will be primarily on behalf of the Brown family, on behalf of my dad, Bishop Leo Brown uh, Jr., who is the uh, pastor also of the True Wine Community Church of God in Christ. And so today I share primarily in regards to Brown family because the Brown family grew up with the Milton's. We part of the family on behalf of Bishop Brown or and or Uncle Leo, as some affectionately know him. The Brown family and extended family would like to thank you for sharing Mother Milton and Sister Stephanie with us. They have been a part of the True Wine family for years, but not only that, your family, the Milton family, has been one of the supportive families ever since we came to Tacoma, Washington. Started in Tacoma area, your family, the Milton family. We grew up together, we hung out at summer camp together, we worked at Progress House together. Mother Milton was a part of the board at Progress House, uh, the church, uh, True Vine Church. We worked together. Uh, brother Floyd Riley, who was a brother, he was uh, one of the fishing partners of uh, our family. Bishop Goodman would come preach for our True Vine family, and the list goes on and on. And I, I believe uh, Bishop Chris Milton uh, and I have probably stayed the closest as far as contact is concerned. Uh, but throughout the years, we've crossed each other's paths family-wise and kept a unique kinship that is not easily broken. We've laughed, we've cried, we've prayed, we fought, made up, prayed again, got saved again. <laughs> you know you're, you're not really saved until you get saved the third time. <laughs> All the things that happen in a big family and friends. Unfortunately today, it's not the best of circumstances. But it is a reminder of how fragile life is, how important loved ones are, and how meaningless petty arguments can be. Milton family, you were bit by a huge bowl picture. Milton family and extended family, you had a major tragedy this last week or so. Something that would shake up even the strongest of individuals. We're going to miss Mother Milton. The mother was a woman of faith. She was a believer. Mm -hmm. She would go to church, sit in the front row, and uh, before I received my cancer diagnosis and went through the chemo and all those things, I would go to Trevine and I would sit in the front row and she would come in service and she would sit right beside me and I would see her and she would sing when she would sad. She would praise when she was in pain. She would worship 
even though she was wounded, she was steady there. I, I became almost like a, a little miniature security guard because the, the uh, shouters would shout right in front of her. And so uh, me and Brother Holmes would jump in front of her and make sure she wouldn't move, but we would make sure that the steppers didn't step on her. <laughs> We're going to miss it. We're going to miss Sister Stephanie because she was faithfully trying to help out her mother. She was faithfully bringing her mother to church. She was faithfully getting up and trying to make sure, doing her best. She wasn't perfect, but neither was none of us. She tried her best in her the best hour to do what she could do. Mother Milton fought sickness for a long time and it was hard to hear. She had passed away, but then within days, to hear also that Sister Stephanie would rush to the hospital and put on life support, then did not pull through. What an unexpected chain of events, and I don't care how old they are at the time, and I don't care how mad we are with them, there's never a good time to lose a loved one. That's right. It just doesn't feel, you just feel like they're going to be around for a little longer. A writer once asked a question in the face of all these things. He said, what shall we say to these things? Uh -huh. I have to say this because we were church family. The Milchins, the Browns, the Millers. I have, I, hold, I have a special affinity for the Milchins and the Millers because when I was hit by a car, I had a body cast that went from my waist down and I couldn't walk on my own. That Bishop would share this if he was up here, but I'm speaking, sharing some of the things. And they would carry me from room to room. The Milchins were right there. It's important to know that that in the face of all of these things, yes, what shall we say yes, to these things? Yes, sir. Milton family, you were hit hard. <laughs> you were hit hard. Extended family, you were hit, hit hard. I don't know all the names of the individual brothers and sisters of the family, the uncles, the aunts, the extended family, we were hit hard. But what shall we say to these things? Let me clarify something, then I'm going to get to my seat. And that is that it's different when the world is talking because the, the world would stand up and say it was one of those things. Uh -huh. It was just one of those things. A random act, something that happened out of the blue, something that came along. It was one of those things. But I, I, I need to beg to differ and I need to get a little Go bit ahead. closer. And that is that when it's those things, it makes you think. It makes you think that it's something over there. Uh -huh. But it's those things that make you think it's way down the street. A random map way over on the other side. When it's those things, it's a vicissitude, a problem, a, a tragedy, or something that happened, could have happened to anybody. But when it's these things, it makes you think that it's right there in your house, right there in your space, right there in the things that you, you're going through. When, it, when it's these things, it's not a mother, it's your mother. When it's these things, it's not a sister, it's your sister. When it's these things, those, those things are everybody's member, but these things, it's your member, true God. It's your friend. Their neighborhood is your friend, but, but what shall we say to these things? Not a tragedy that struck the neighborhood, and for those of you that are just to get on, I gotta and get uh, get on because uh, you're looking at your watches there. But I gotta go. But yes, one thing I gotta tell you, yes, that is that Mother Milton was a woman of faith. Uh huh. Sister Stephanie, they went to church. We have to confront. The whole issue, it raises the question, what do we say in, to these things, not those things. When, when mama is taken, when sister is taken, and the whole issue, we remember last week when we were planning for the funeral, and it was just mother. Mm -hmm. That was one of those things. 
But then on Sunday, you got the news. Oh, it got closer. That's these things. Well, what shall you say to these things when a tragedy strikes your life? It raises a challenging question. But these things, the answer comes right after that. The writer says, if God. Uh -huh. But if God, what shall we say to these things? If God, uh -huh. don't argue, don't fight, don't fuss. If God uh -huh. you with his she say, I don't want y'all fighting each other. Just say, if God, what are you going to say to these things? For you, God, uh -huh. what are you going to say to these things? Not one casket, but two casket. What are you going to say to these things? We're going to say, if God, because Mother Milton, Sister Catherine, Enjoy. 